I just got back from conducting a seminar on storytelling to a network of wedding DJs. Um, and these seminars are very good, by the way. But when I was with the DJs, I walked away incredibly refreshed about being alive. They were just the world's most lovable extroverts. Practically every one of them came up and welcomed me to the event. Was I being taken care of? Did I have everything I needed? They were so happy to have me there. Now, most of them had decades of experience, and as you can imagine, they'd seen every kind of wedding, from seamless perfection to train wreck with a side order of dumpster fire. And after years of serving as the MCs of wedding receptions, well, they knew how to handle pretty much everything. Like the drunk uncle whose toast has meandered into politics, or someone's ex showing up without an invitation and then asking for the microphone, or the 19 things that can go wrong during a cake cutting ceremony. And as you might think, having seen what they've seen, they might get cynical about weddings, or marriage for that matter. But no, they were all openly sentimental and hopeful about it. They were full of stories about families reconciling on wedding day and parents being pleasantly shocked by how great the younger generations are. And the thing was, these wedding DJs just walked through the world looking for the positive. They were looking for ways to help people smile. There was a young woman from the hotel who was in charge of our conference space, making sure the AV worked and the coffee was hot. And she had a little bit of an accent, which prompted one of the guys to ask where she was from. And she said, Croatia. And so immediately he starts Googling how to say thank you in Croatian. They just took such pleasure in being good at what they do and such pleasure being who they were. And later, after a couple of beers and at least one tequila, I asked one of the older DJs what was the best advice that he'd ever heard given at a wedding. And he said it was from my father of the bride to the bride's younger sister. He said, don't waste a minute being anyone but yourself. And I thought, that's good. You know, maybe not as profound as I would have thought. But after I got back from the event, my friend Josh happened to send me this poem from Shel Silverstein. She had blue skin, and so did he. He kept it hid, and so did she. They searched for blue their whole life through, then passed right by and never knew. From the people who seem to have cracked the happiness code, don't waste a minute being anyone but yourself. <laughs>